Hello everyone, welcome to Superwoman Ninja TV. So if you are just seeing my channel, you're just stumbling upon my channel. My channel stumbled upon you. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Coach for me. In this channel, I bring motivational, inspirational. I talk about life issues, you know, and I talk about relationships. All right. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, why not do so now subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified in time i upload new videos okay Yes, so today I'm talking about red flags in relationships. Yes, red flags in relationships. A lot of times we ignore red flags in relationships because we want to see the good part of the person or of our partner, you know, because we just decide not to pay attention. And red flags are very critical. If you ignore them, you'll regret them later. You regret the action later, brother. If you ignore red flags, you ignore, you would regret your actions later. It is important to pay attention to red flags in relationships. Sometimes they are very obvious. Sometimes they are very subtle. So this is when you need to, you need to put on your cap, your intuition. You really need to be attuned to your intuition, to know, to see. To, to perceive to you know to be attentive to these red flags so i am going to be talking about three red flags today three red flags that although you might see it as oh maybe it's not so serious my sister it is very serious do not ignore it is very serious number one red flag that you must pay attention to in a relationship especially when you want to get serious with them and you want to spend the rest of your life with them is inconsistency are they consistent are they hot today and cold tomorrow this person that you're dating oh today is also lovey dovey you know mushy mushy and tomorrow is very cold tomorrow is very unkind tomorrow is so brush to you and you'll be wondering where's it coming from you know and then you think about oh th those days that he was nice or she was nice like okay maybe you know maybe something something you give excuses no do not overlook it someone who loves you will be consistent they'll show you love today show you love tomorrow show you love the day after they'll keep showing you love they would be consistent they would very they will they will be consistent they will be very consistent. So consistency is very key. Consistency is very key in a relationship. So if they are inconsistent, then major red flag. Secondly, do they lie? The liars. Lying is a red flag in a relationship. Lying can be so subtle. Yes. It can be so subtle because some people when they lie especially not just not just some people you know liars cover lies with lies when they lie they cover they do another lie to cover another lie to cover another lie to cover another lie sometimes lying is not saying oh i have a brother and um the person ends up not having a brother or they've been married before and then you find out sometimes it can be so subtle like or so looks so inconsequential but pay attention to it for instance someone who tells you oh i'm not working tomorrow right and then the person calls you up and says oh i'm at work i'm having lunch and you're like you're having lunch but you told me that you're not working tomorrow how come you at home i mean you're at work having lunch you know the person lied lied somehow maybe they are covering something they're covering something and then they had to tell another lie to cover the lie so inconsistency lying 
and controlling people who are controlling people who want you to do what they want you to do in their own ways in their own ways they want to control you they want to control how you dress they want to control um the friends you keep they want to control um the kind of parties you go to they just want to control sometimes you know ladies can get so carried away and like oh he loves me you know he loves me that's why he's so interested in what i do that's why okay someone who loves you will not be controlling someone who loves you will let you be who you are especially when they if rather especially if they met you that way if you meet a lady in a certain you know in a certain way and you're trying to change that person then that is controlling because they are for crying out loud there are lots and lots of ladies out there who are exactly what you want why are you not going for them so why do you think oh i'm going to be with this person and i'm going to you know change her and i'm going to you know make her who i want to be you know to suit my 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 style to suit what i want no that is controlling i know there are some habits right that might show up in a relationship there are some bad characters that might show up in a relationship and the guy might say oh i don't like this or the lady might say oh i don't like this you need to stop you know those are different talking about someone's personality 